Hey guys, so two weeks ago we did a cooking video and a lot of you requested more videos and a little bit more inside information on how we do some of the cooking. And you guys also know that it's been a little bit of trying times because we've been in jump seat. So we have taken it back to the basics this week and I'm using the Sabbath Heat Lunchbox. You might have seen it on some of our reels and stories on some of the meals that I cooked, but I figured I'd go over a little bit more of that information. So this is back to the basics. Even if you don't have an inverter and you have no way to cook, you can get one of these Sabbath Heat lunch boxes, and I'll link it down below. Um, but this is really easy meals. So let's talk about some of the meals that we already made this week. They are similar ingredients, but it made two meals. So it's gonna save you a ton of money, and that's the big thing. Maybe it's just starting to save a ton of money to get out of the truck, start, start building off of the foundation of just cooking in the truck and feeling what that is. So. Um, we did loaded nachos, we did some meat roll-ups where it's just some deli meat rolled up with cheese and some chips. And then today we're gonna take a little bit further. Yesterday I did some meal prep because the other thing that this week is trying is because unfortunately Scott is really sick and then we also have little Willow. So um, I'm picking up a little bit extra so Scott can rest so I can get better. But I did some meal prep and so this is super hot but it's chicken cordon bleu. I prepped it in there yesterday and then I also made a chicken stir fry in these containers so that way an hour ago I stopped let Willow go out put that in this lunch box that's hot and ready and then I also took the corn put that in there and I made mashed potatoes using my coffee pot so um, it's all things that we could run um, a helpful tip is using a thermometer so get a meat thermometer and get one that has the sleeve like this one has a sleeve that tells you the temperatures of all the different kind of meats that way you can make sure your food is cooked to the correct temperatures and it's done and um, it's gonna make it really really easy some other meals that we're gonna do is tuna fish sandwiches so this week um, we did use a skillet one time but a lot of the meals are just made right here in the Sabbath heat lunchbox and hopefully you guys feel inspired and if you haven't started cooking in the cab you guys do so because uh, it saves you a ton of money and helps you eat a lot better some loaded chicken nachos tonight so I'm gonna start by getting some of this pre-cooked chicken you can pick this up at Walmart um, or the grocery store near you I'm just gonna add some taco seasoning to it whether it's from a pack or you make your own and then I also picked up this fajita blend that has onions, peppers already diced up really small. I'm gonna add some of that in there. And then I got some shredded cheese and some sour cream. And if you wanna spice it up a little bit, make it a little bit extra fancy, get some queso. <laughs> A chicken rice bowl. The recipe I'm gonna be using is some already cooked chicken. Throw some taco seasoning on there. It's a little thing of minute rice. We got some corn. And then we got this fajita blend that already has my onions and peppers already cut in it. And we have some cheese. Gonna add a little fancy queso on the top when we're all done. We're gonna make it in these little loaf pans, two loaf pans, single serving. got these foil pans and I already have my chicken in the bottom of it so I have a thin sliced chicken breast in the bottom of two and then chicken sliced up so I'm gonna be making a chicken stir fry in one I added my condiment packet from Taco Bell I also used the chili ones from Wendy's and added some honey so it's gonna be some sweet heat and then we got um, some vegetables we'll add onto the top of there put that in you could also add some minute rice if you wanted to or put that in at the end um, and that's gonna be one recipe. The other one's gonna be more like a chicken cordon bleu. We got the chicken breast in there. We're gonna put some cheese, some um, little mustard that we have, um, and then some bacon and ham. So real fast, I got done making dinner, got it all cleaned up after we ate and everything, but I wanted to first say, sorry about the hot mess. This is real life. You guys know we're real people. And I told you, Scott is really sick. He has bronchitis and pneumonia, and um, it's just a lot while being on the road. But I wanted to touch base back on the Sabbath Heat lunchbox because you guys know we've given many reviews on the 12 volt plug um, cookers, the little lunchbox, the ovens, and things on many different brands. And one common thing that we found is that the plug gets too hot. And I thought that this one was going to be a little bit better, but unfortunately it has melted and the threads uh, have melted so it can't be used anymore, which is alarming because you know that in one of the other ones it started to almost catch fire in the outlet and it destroyed that plug-in area that it's plugged into so make sure if you're using any of these 
that you do not leave them unattended. Don't even leave them in the back of your cab while driving down the road unless you're a team and somebody can be watching it. Make sure it's in reach, that way a, a tragedy doesn't happen and your truck catches on fire or something really bad happens. Um, especially if you left it unattended and you go into the truck stop and you come back and the truck's on fire and you've caught other people's trucks on fire. That would be really bad. It definitely uh, can happen. I am going to reach out to them and let them know that this has happened and see how they take it. Um, but it can be replaced. We can just change out this head because I have really enjoyed how easy and wonderful it is to use it. But it definitely does have some safety concerns. So be careful, guys.